I'm Amy Randrup with Rat Trap Productions, and my husband Joby and I are going to show you how we make our beef stew in the crock pot. I'll just go through the ingredients. We have a two and a half pound chuck roast, about a cup of flour, beef stock, and red wine. I suggest a dry red wine. I'm going to use a Cabernet garlic, potatoes, carrots, onions. I'm using about a cup and a half of a sweet potato puree. We have green peas, one small can, six ounces of tomato paste, a little kale, salt, pepper, bay leaves, and thyme. And then I'll add mushrooms also. You'll want to take your chuck roast or bottom round works also and trim it. Cut out the bone. Cut it into two inch pieces and plop them in the bowl of flour. Best way to not cut yourself is to have a sharp knife. And that is a fact. Look at it just slice right through that. Coating all the beef with a thin coat of white flour, a third of a cup of olive oil, and get your pan up to heat. I'm going to cut our onions. Yes, I look cool in the sunglasses, but the sunglasses is actually a trick when you cut onions to keep the onion vapors from your eyes, keep you from crying. That's a little trick my daughter and I learned from reading Rainbow. We're also going to add about four little cloves of garlic. We're going to add the onions and garlic to the beef skillet. Six ounce can of tomato paste. And I know cast iron pans do not like acid. So you're going to need to treat your cast iron pan if you use it. And the heating the tomato paste helps get some of that acidity out and makes it not quite so bitter, which is why you're doing it in the pan. Once you get it all coated and warm, you're going to transfer it to your slow cooker. I've sprinkled a little flour on the bottom of my slow cooker, and then we also have the bones from the beef in there, which we'll pull out before. Now you'll notice this, the skillet has a bunch of beef residue, flour residue, onions, all kinds of stuff. And some of the way, a good way to get that, pour one cup of dry red wine and stir and scrape all that stuff up into the wine. Heating this wine also takes some of the bitterness out of the wine. And then you're gonna add that to your slow cooker as well. Now you're going to wash your potatoes. I use about five or six potatoes. Cut them into two inch chunks. We're gonna just cut these in about two inch pieces, like that, and we're gonna add them. This part is optional. I just happen to have a little bit of kale left over from a minestrone soup I made before, and kale is uh, very good for you. So I'm just going to take a handful of kale, cut it down pretty small, and add it in. Now I'm going to add the puree. This is about a cup and a half, maybe two cups of sweet potato puree. When you use a puree, you want to add more salt than you would normally. That puree really sucks up the salt. A little seasoned pepper, thyme, and bay leaves. Your last step here is the broth. I'm just going to pour the broth into the puree bag to try to get more of that puree. The beef stew has been in the crock pot and cooking on low all day long. I'm going to um, turn it to low, turn it back to low because it went to warm, and I'm going to add Some sliced portobello mushrooms. I 
My daughter loves mushrooms. Here you go, hon. And a cup of frozen peas. Turning it back up to low. Feel it. There it is. Make sure you pull that bone out so nobody gets hurt. And I would serve this with a crusty roll. That's it.